Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' yeah, check it, check it, check it. It's a unique host. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not, not my dad. Walk on. Man, another day. This is a day that the Lord has made. Dollar. I'll be, you know, glad and rejoice in it. Mm -hmm. You say another dollar. Another you don't want no more dollar. than that. Of course. <laughs> oh, okay, check it, man. Say, man, check it. We got a a, a great uh, man. Should I say East Texas finest? I'm right. talking about man, uh, uh, one who uh, I've been watching her. I, I was gonna sign her myself. I had already, I had <laughs> set a mission out. I don't know what that was. I was like, who find journey? And then I found her. Oh, she signed to Mama Scott. I said, damn. <laughs> I definitely was going for you. Like I was like, I'm gonna find that girl. I, <laughs> I promise you, I will. You don't even realize that. That's but, crazy. But, but I didn't know. You know, I didn't know you. I seen you on that. Uh, check it, man. Journey is in the building. What's going on? What's up? Like What's I like to went too fast. You know hey. what I'm talking about? <laughs> he was ready. I was ready for the conversation <laughs> too. Though. So uh, check it. Um, so what's up, baby? Um, how, what do you think about Journey? She she. Uh, I've been hearing about Journey for a while from you. Yeah, I'm telling you right now. I when had they talk about the hardest females in East Texas, your name always came up. It yeah. always came up. Yeah. You it know? always came but up. But like I said, before I even knew, you know, because I was first, I was like, man, I was looking at that cypher. Uh -huh. And I was like, that's the one right there. That's the one. Not lyrically, you know, it wasn't even about the lyrical ability. I mean, I always tell the story about Yella, how I would have signed him over any other rapper in Dallas because of the way that he looks and the way that I feel I can sell a person right. you know, or, or give him to I, I'm talking about giving it making a big deal making a lot of money right you know what I'm saying so I need that image to be right so right that's what I look at and then I looked at your overall persona you know so how you doing I'm good yeah I'm just I'm glad to be here you should be man I mean because you deserve every every minute of it hey I'm humbled I'm a very humbled person that's, that's dope that's, that's something that's, people like no no realize no. about me that's I don't dope. really talk shit <laughs> <laughs> Except from in your music, right? Yeah, now in my music, yeah, it's up, man. <laughs> but as far as just like getting on something, just be like, yeah, I'm, I'm a hardest, you know. I, I take everybody, you know, compliment, you know, thank you, you know. I play basketball, so. Oh, I got. Oh, know. it's a lot of them come over here, and it's been a few. I think K Breezy come over there. Yeah, other week, we talking about she went to college, and you know, you niggas yeah. come up in here after your career's over, and you rapping now. So what happened? Man. One of them girls got you out there. Oh, hold on, before you start, oh. let's start. Let's go back. Oh, let's I'm gonna go, go in on let's you too. You was, it was gonna get you too. Uh -huh, you want them too? Back. Let's you know go back. Let's go. I'm going in on everybody. You know. <laughs> okay, let's go back to Little Journey before you became a Journey. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when when how old were you when that name came about? Anyway, Journey. journey. I was born with Journey. I'm. I don't know. <laughs> my mama. They they did that. So my name always been that. And my mama's told so that me. that is your government That's name. my government name, yeah. Okay. That's on my birth certificate, okay. journey. Okay, because you know, a lot of artists have their... Nicknames, um, yeah. Right, mm -hmm. so I wasn't and sure. And actually, when I was actually about to take it serious and about to start, I was like, what should I, what should I do my name? I was like, bitch, your name is Journey. Like, <laughs> wow, <laughs> yeah. just, I was like, okay. That's a right. great name. Yeah. So you've always wanted to rap? I always did music. I ain't, I've always wrote, like, since a little kid, done music. How old were you when you first started to write? Probably about four. Wow. And why did you start writing? Um, I went through a lot of trauma as a little kid, a lot of different things out there, a lot of abuse as a little kid. So I do. At four? At four. I had I had a little I had a little situation that happened when I was four years old. So it was bad. It was trauma for me. So I had to go right. to therapy like every day. So you went to counseling? Yeah, counseling. Does every that day. help? Did that help you? Oh, that's that's a great question. No, not to me, it don't because the only way I feel like canceling help is if you're talking to somebody that's actually been through the same thing that you've been through. They mm -hmm. hire people by the book. If you are sitting here telling me about a book, you don't really understand where I'm coming from. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I can't really listen to you say, oh, you're going to be fine if you're not going through what I'm going through. So, Because how do you know? You're reading everything out of that textbook. I could have went and got the textbook and did that myself. You but know? I totally agree with you, except from the part where my mind... Mm, thinks about things in different ways so mm -hmm. like for me personally I don't have to 
physically go through something to understand where a person came from right. and to feel it. Right. And by being a therapist, depends on how long they've been a therapist. That's the main thing. Yeah. They've been a therapist for a very long time and hearing these situations over and over and learning from all these people who've been through certain things, then they would be equipped to help you. And you're right. And it'll help for some people, but then you have some other people that need to see it. Okay, let me explain this to you. I live in real life. You mm -hmm. got people that live in real life. You have people that live in fantasy. You have people that live in all different times. I live in literally real. Everything has to make sense to me. Mm -hmm. Reality. Mm -hmm. So... If I'm going through counseling, I can't go with no book. Mm -hmm. I have to go with somebody that understands me on a deeper level. Mm -hmm. That's just everybody being different. You know what I'm saying? So for those cases, they should have therapists for that. You know what I'm saying? Right. There's different people in the world. So not everybody going to take that information the same way. You know what that's I'm saying? True. So that's how I know it didn't work for me. Because okay. as a little kid, the, the, the abuse that I went through, okay, I'm four, right? So I understand what I went through, but not really that much. But as I'm going through counseling and you're reminding me every day of what happened at four, now it's playing in my head. I'm four years old, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm not a 15 year old, I'm not a 14 year old where I'm dreaming. I'm, I started dreaming after going to counseling because they've reminded me so much, asked me what happened over and 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 over, and over again, mm -hmm. that now, I'm having nightmares. You get what I'm saying? Right, so it, right. that just they need to have different ways to attack you. Know, it's especially a child. Especially a, a, a child. A child. Yes, especially a child. And now I, with grown-ups, yeah. Right. And it being at that age, you weren't equipped to go to mom and, and dad and say, this is the wrong therapist. Yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not, no, you don't I don't know. know anything. Yes, I don't know anything. So all I'm knowing is I'm, I'm here. They told me something bad happened. And now I'm sitting here with these people and they keep reminding me about something that's bad that's happened and they telling me to be, you know, be afraid. You know what I'm saying? So Maybe you need to go back to the right people and start talking to them and letting them know this. Mm -hmm. Um, so that because there are other kids at four year olds or, or even younger who going through and what see, you are going through. So now you understand why I said my major was psychology because mm -hmm. I want to be able to help kids because I I went through that. You know what I'm saying? And I've been around kids. You know that they go through abuse every day. These kids be abused every day, don't, and people don't even know it. You no, know what I'm saying? You said therapy didn't help you, but do you feel now that you have overcame your abuse? I think I have. Um, of course, I mean, I'm still sitting here, you know. Right. Um, but a lot of way. people can be sitting here and still have and still yeah. have. Yeah. Can you over talk yeah. about but it? I, can, I and, actually and, can. Because we had a guy that came in from, and I always bring him up, North Carolina. Name was Archivius. Mm -hmm. uh, was it Armstrong? Armstrong. And he was abused uh, by his, two grown women, two grown men before he was nine years old. Right. I mean, before he was 12. 11. Mm -hmm. 11. And uh, he basically uh, was sexually abused by those people mm -hmm. and and relatives or whatnot. And, he's, he, and that's one thing he said. He said he can talk about it now because he's healed. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times people can't talk about it because it's a dark spot yeah, that they don't want to, it's, you know. That's something very hard to overcome, and that's the same thing that yeah. happened with me. It was sexual abuse for me. So it's when you're somebody that, uh, that's why I said they need to pick these people that's overcame this. Like, okay, so if a little girl coming to me right now, and she's like, oh, this happened to me when I was little. I don't know what to happen. And I tell her my story. She's going to feel me that's more right. than that other lady that is going by that book. Mm -hmm. I agree Especially 100%. a little kid. Mm -hmm. I agree you know what 100%. I'm saying? And there's different ways to attack that. You don't really want to go in there. If you're four years old, you really don't want to go in there and keep asking her or him, what happened at night? What happened today? What happened at night? What happened that day? What happened? And they'll keep asking you that. And, okay, put it to you like this. Y'all. So, okay, okay, but hold on. Keep that train of thought. Do you think that they're asking a child this so many times because they're trying to figure out if it's the truth? Yes, because that's some, one. Of, that is one of the. Do. That is one of the things. But with trying to do that, you have to think. You're not thinking about the kid, though. Mm -hmm. Get what exactly. I'm saying? You're not thinking about the kid at all. Y'all just thinking about and y'all doing this. Okay, so they're asking me, and I'm a, at this. I was actually smart, so mm -hmm. I could tell you. At four years old, what happened to me, how it happened to me, verbatim. I told them verbatim, a lot of kids not doing that. Now, at four years old, a lot of kids are not doing that. Verbatim, I was telling you what happened, how it happened. And they told me that I, would, I was too young to take the stand, to testify. So nothing happened. Get mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So y'all just wasted my time. Yeah. Now, I, done had, I got nightmares. I got to go to counseling. 
I had to do counseling all the way to the age of 15. Wow. And, and that was when I said, I'm not doing it no more. Was that person ever prosecuted? for? Because, no. you know, if they did they it saw, one time, no. they probably did it against somebody else. And, and possibly, but, I mean, I, I don't know. I, well, is that person still around? Don't know. Never, never. So you've never know. seen them again? Don't know. Okay. Yeah, don't know. Because, cool. you know, yeah. another thing I think about when I think about um, Archivius, or I even said this to many people, I said, when you're able to talk about it, mm-hmm. you don't give it power over you. Because yes. whenever you hide something, because whether you're ashamed of what happened and stuff like that, yes. you're giving it power over uh-huh. you. And you're it, so scared. It destroys you. Like, it I went through that. I went in, through that. Inward. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it was bad. Like, I used to cut myself, everything. It was, yeah. it was really bad. Like, I was suicidal. I was all types of things. I mean, you know, but I just... Hey. And it's stuff I, like that should go in your music too because yeah. mm-hmm. people don't talk At about some point, it. You know, but and there's 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 a time for everything, you know, there's True. a time yeah. and a season for And then everything. it's a real sensitive, yeah. touchy. That's real touchy. It yeah. can like, save a lot of people. I know, but you see how I'm comfortable? That's because I'm you know, and I still have moments and times where I'm just like You know how many you know, uh, girls that come on here that have been through stuff like that? Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. I mean we even talked about it with EXO. It's a big you know, topic. It's a thing that it's that so people, sad how common you know, it is. It's very common. It's coming. real coming. It's real sad, and they make it seem like it's not. It's coming. Half but of the people you talk to, you wouldn't even know how that. Do you, was, how do you carry it into your relationships now? I was thinking about that. Yeah, too. that's a that's a. You good, see what I'm saying? Yeah. Because at some point, it it can be a situation where it gets gets foggy this is and confusing. The honest, you know, this is so the honest. I I only have had in my lifetime two official boyfriends. Boyfriends. Yeah. Two only, like just. If with me day to day, every day, you know, that's who I talk to. That's who only two. I mean, I have not because I was so traumatized. Like, I get now, it. has it affected? Did it ever looking back in those relationships? Had it affected your relationship? In like, yeah. in some ways, you know, I, I have to, you know, I got to overcome a lot of different things. My mind is so, you know, I don't want to be hurt. That's really what it is for me. And it's. With my hurt, like, I, everybody have a different type of hurt to me. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And with my hurt, it's like, it's real different. Like, I, I you know, I'm a resent. You know, I don't want to ever just resent it, you know? Well, I, and I'll get to a point where I just resent it and I'll leave it alone forever, you know? No. And who wants to do that? No, right. I think right. I think the main thing is the trust in God. You know, mm-hmm. that's the start. That's the foundation. No matter what, you know, uh, that's the foundation. If you have a a, a situation like that, because right. you got to clean your slate. I, I went through situations, right? So in order for me to change, I had to reconform and retrans, you know, transform my thinking. Change your thinking, right? You know and then I mean? you have to like open up to yeah, to people do. that want to help you. Only to people that want to help you, because I'm a real close person. Please believe, like I don't talk. I am. I really. I sit in a car, <laughs> like at a function for real. Mm-hmm. But yeah. it's when you hold stuff in. That makes you so much more angry, yeah. so much more sad, or so much more depressed, yeah. so much more worse. So when the people that's actually that's genuinely and you'll know who 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 and genuinely wants to help. Sometimes you push everybody away. Oh, that wait, you don't yeah. really, you know, because you, you want to put that. yourself in a box. You don't want to talk to nobody. You want to talk about the situation. It yeah. hurts. Right. It, it's like why, why me? Who? What did I do? It's it's all those. But different you know type what? I questions. look in situations, no matter how bad, because no matter what you've been through in life, there's always somebody out there who has and it worse. worse. Yes. So, but. If you're still here on this earth, I believe that everybody goes through things as a testimony to help others. Mm -hmm. So if you come out of self for a second or for a year for the rest of your life and say, my life is for somebody else. My testimony is for somebody else. Yes, it's very sad that I had to go through this at a young age, but I'm going to help some other kids. I'm going to help that parent to see certain signs what's going on with this child because right. I was this child because a lot of parents don't see the signs because they're too busy whether working doing this doing that mm-hmm. so they don't see the signs because kids are not going to open up with certain situations because that person whoever is doing this to them is either threatening them fooling them whatever and kids their mind haven't developed enough to be able to judge certain things yet right so the education needs to also come to the parents it does it you definitely I mean? does. It, it must well, definitely does. You know, the, the, the thing I can tell you is to make sure that, uh, you know, if you get an opportunity to me- maybe do a podcast or maybe to do some, Just you know. Just talk about th- it and help somebody. That's to, the plan, to, must definitely. <laughs> to do, uh, you know, something to where you can interact with, um, you know, like like people, your mm-hmm. people who, who, who follow you, who support you, so that w- when you're talking to them, you know, 
they can they can feel your heart. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's yeah. the, that's that's important. Yeah. Um, we got so many different outlets now where you can you you know, basically you, you, you can do it through a podcast, but you can do it through also just lives and all type of things. So and I think that's a good thing to uh to do. But I wanna let's move uh, forward. Well, does your fans know about this yet? Do my fans know? I mean, I ain't just publicly like just say. Yeah, you know? well, she first got to start connecting with them. I don't know if you go live and do stuff with them. I used to. I kind of got away. Keep that I up. need to keep say, it on man, there. That's, yeah. the, that's, the, that's the new wave. You can't yeah, be out here. You're right. Yeah. And if I've you ain't doing it, then I'm I'm on you. I'm on yeah, your you neck because I know. Yeah, I used to, and my stuff was. Yeah, used to be. It, yeah, it's gonna make people know who you are. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, I think that's the most powerful outlet we have is social media and and the way you connect with those people. Man, you gotta. You got a, a a thing that you do for as the music go, but then also they want to know who you are because they're your supporters right. and they're your fans. You know, Thanks. that's dope, man. So going back into the music, so you said at four years old, that's the reason why you started writing and and channeling all your therapy into your music. That was basically one of the look. So that's really Driving what helped you. Yeah, they gave you yeah something they gave you to do. Really. Yeah, they was like you know. Oh, Maybe so they did that Yeah, that's something you. they gave oh, me to okay. do. So now, yeah, like I said, it's things that they did have that was good was things, things, but mm -hmm. it was things that just... Yeah, right. well, I mean, I think God is ultimately you know. the one who's in control of everything. Mm -hmm. So whatever yeah. happened to you, you know, it happened for a reason, yeah. and it would be to help somebody because that's yeah. the way God works, right. you know. Right. Um, so the music, when when did you first know... Well, I, I can go on and move forward. When did you first start taking the music serious? Just a year ago. Just a year ago? Yeah, because I was playing basketball... Right. When did you do that uh that, that cipher? That wasn't that long ago. Really? Was that like seven months maybe? Mm -hmm. Maybe seven months I now. No, that was like two a year or two ago. Mm -mm. And I, I only been rapping for a year. So when y'all went okay, I heard y'all was doing another one. Is, is yeah, it, we supposed to do the video on the thirtieth. Did you do the verse already? Yeah. How you think what you think about it? What do I think about did my you go verse? Hard? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, yeah, who all was on it, if you don't mind me asking. The only person that everybody was on there except for uh Brie Bellicose. So okay. she was the, I think she was right after me. I think she, not, yeah, I think she might have been after me right before Smitty. Okay. Yeah. She's the only one that didn't get to do it because she was, she had surgery about like around the time we was doing it, so she didn't get to. Oh, was okay. that the one from Paris? She from Marshall. Okay. You talking about Yams. Yeah. Yams is from Paris. Okay. Mm -hmm. So was it a, was it a, what, what, do you think this one's going to be as far as the first one was? I think it's going to be hard. I don't think it's going to be better than the first nah. one. I mean, I'm just being honest. But you know I think it's so? going to be hard, though. You don't know. That's good. It's kind of what the people say. Hey, I, that was, yeah. you asked me my opinion. <laughs> That's my opinion. <laughs> you asked me my opinion. Like, the first no. one was epic, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. I just don't, I, I, it's hard. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm saying it's hard, but I just, the first one was epic. Yeah, so do Did, you. Go ahead. Did you used to rap in high school and college? I know you played basketball. We were freestyle. freestyle? That's, what, that's what I did. Like, everybody freestyle. Okay. Everybody freestyle. So, I know you say you just started taking it serious a year ago, but did somebody come to you and said, man, you go so hard, you need to really... Was it somebody what who was did it? that? We was in school. I was in college. And they had a little music school over there. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> What college? I was at Grayson. Okay. Grayson Community College. And they had a music school over there. And we were just... These softball girls and softball boys was doing music, so mm. in the basketball, we was all in the same dorm, so we would go over there, we would just listen to them, and we get in there and play and stuff, so, and I started off singing first, I wasn't rapping. Oh, so you can sing? I can sing a little bit. A little bit? A little good. bit. Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. People be like, oh, you got a pretty voice. But I say a little bit because I sing out my no nose. I know I sing oh, out my okay. nose and not from my stomach. Okay. So if I get a vocal coach, yes, I can really sing. But Okay. Well, so, yeah, so is that something on your bucket list to get a vocal coach so you can yeah, do both? so I can do both. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. I play with a little bit. I got a song on uh, you know, out on Apple Music, and it's it's actually the top song on that little EP that I put out. I was surprised. Do you yeah. use, like, a lot of auto-tunes behind your voice and stuff like not that? Not really, no. I don't like that. Because I hate it too. And my well, voice is I, like, I, I, can y'all hear my voice? It's real smooth. Yeah, but it, it, it's, just your, it's your opinion, you know. Uh, can you give to, me a little? What? Song? A song? song? Like for me to sing? Yeah. Girl. No, she, <laughs> she, 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 
she she go rap. Okay. No, she I thought, go rap. Was she talking about Ooh. that one that's nah, on the top? Nah, nah. Ooh, we can play that song. But <laughs> yeah. And I don't blame you. Hey, yo, you know what I'm saying? I don't blame you. You get in here and play. I'm gonna cut it out. You know what I'm saying? Nobody ain't flopping on here. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna flop around on this thing. No, this this is a premier platform. Oh, you yeah, 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 yeah. We not flopping around over here on Boss Talk 101. We come to get down. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, man. So what do you what so? So what do you think? Uh, do you like where the music is right now? I mean, you came in a year ago getting serious about it. You know, um, when you first started looking, Nikki was banging, and then then Cardi came and swooped through and did her thing. And now we're looking at Megan. What the hell was you doing during that time? What did you think about the female lyricists that were getting down? I fuck with all of them. <laughs> <laughs> they dope, right? I fuck with all of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what do you think about Mulatto? Is that her name? I mm-hmm. like Mulatto too. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It's some, it's some heavy hit, but it's some, it's some out there, you know, uh, that's just doing their thing, and and it's and a lot of them niggas sleep on. Like I got a different variety. Of- I think, I'm, okay, sleep on. I, I don't, I don't really like that terminology because who's sleeping on them? Like it's just a lot of them that don't get as much shine as the they other. They ain't doing they what they're supposed to be doing. Yes, they do. They can't be. They do. Like the who? world will speak. Like who? Mm-hmm. The Name world me. will okay. tell you who's the best. I, Name me somebody. I like Lakia. You know Lakia? I don't know her. Look, you don't even know who that is. Oh, well, 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 she's on quality I, I, control. She real hard. But all I'm saying is why, she's real why hard, are though. they sleeping on her? It just depends. Like, it just depends the on world her. will speak. Nah. Yes. Nah. If she got that, if she that hard, Journey. Come on. Then she put a song out. Don't, don't sit here and act like this not a gimmick. You think it is? Yes. Please, I feel think like. Think it is? I think if you got good music. You've been in, you been in, the, you been in this industry how long? Doing this how long? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. But I know the industry. But longer than me, right? No. You longer than a year? You ain't been doing it longer you than a year? You talking about the podcast or just being no, around just the being industry? No, just being around the industry. I've been around a long time. Long but, time. Yeah. And I've been around a year. And I didn't see so much fake shit in just a year. So now you talk now you gotta describe what the fake And I'm not just talking I'm not talking about like regular. I'm not talking about regular fake shit like, oh yo homie, uh, fake, he then went over here and talked to you. But I'm not talking about wait fake shit like that. I'm talking about give me gay shit that people do just to ride the wave, get on, get their name out there. It's a gimmick. So do you think Megan is deserved to be where she's at? Yes. Oh, and the people spoke. Yes. And and if Journey tomorrow uh, happened to spike the charts, she deserved that, right? If yeah. Okay, so what I was saying is, when the people like when it's somebody that they love, can't nobody stop their. You can get sleep on though. I don't but, care but what did you, you hear say. What I just said. Yeah, I get you, if but you, you can get it, sleep it, either on. Either you ain't got the right people backing you, or That's they like, are they not putting I'm you gonna, where you need to be. But look, I'm finna I'm finna get you right here. I'm finna give you another she example. Get me right here. All right, you can get slip on in basketball. All right. Oh, you, here we yeah. go. It's done got personal you got now. Pro- no, I'm just saying. Oh, I'll give you another basketball. example. I'll just give you, a, I'll just give you another example. Give me, give me, give me, I'll just give you give another me. example about what I, I mean by you can get slept on. Okay, okay talk to me. Just like in the industry, you can rap, you got talents. Okay, just like in basketball, you can play, you got skills, you got talents. Okay, what? You got five people that play, right? You got a starting lineup, right? Okay, so it's basically kind of like that in the industry. You got people that's up here. You got people that's right here. You got people that's here. Same thing in basketball. You got people that's up here. You got people right here. That's got people right here. And it's a lot of different things. You got stuff like that in the job. You know, you got a, what, your boss? You got your workers? Okay, it's the same thing. Well, let me ask you this. But it don't always uh-huh. happen in every, in like, go back to the basketball you have some people who are right up the top because of politics, because their parents are, mm-hmm. you know, whatever, but not in every school. Not in not every in school, every but listen to what you just said, though, well, because of some, politics. Some. I know, that's right. It's, it, and some, some are in because of some are right, of but some stuff. are you on people. top because of their talent. And it is, and that's why I said, he just asked me, did yeah. I think Megan Desire? I do. I just said that there are other people in the industry, but just it, like it, there's other people that would be on the bench that deserve to play yeah, that yeah, did not play. Yeah, my partner would like that. He wouldn't stop shooting every time they put him out there he said e i'm for the get mine we was up there he said i'm the best on the team and then comrade shout out comrade comrade would shoot that ball <laughs> and he tell me he looked back at me he said e watch when i get out there and he's eagerly coming he said watch Did Coach he get B, taken said, out boy that nigga be hooping though <laughs> for the five by, by two or three minutes yeah. i said that nigga the best <laughs> five by two. i said that nigga he, he didn't yeah. miss nothing Period. you know what i'm talking about like every shot went in and he said nigga that coach don't like me boy but i went in i said damn exactly. you a bad dude man exactly. and i never forget that so i get where 
where you saying exactly. that. Exactly. But I do say like if Lakeisha, she's on quality La control. Makia. Makia. And Lakia. Yeah. And she's on quality control. Well, then why PNM ain't pushing her like she's supposed to in Coach K? You see where I'm coming from? That's it, it. That structure has a lot to do with it as well. And if they're doing the thing they're doing, are they doing the same thing they're doing for the other girls? What's them girls' name? Them two, the one go to jail and come out. Yeah, the city girls. <laughs> the city girls. No, I want to go to jail. Okay, and then yeah. the other one. What's the What's the other one that they got over there? But it's the it's the it's the the image though. Like she, Lakia hard. Okay. City girls hard too, but they got two different images though. They city girls got a ratchet image and. And as far as women and as far as girl fans, they like the most simple stuff. They do. They like bars from guys. They not about to listen to that from a girl. And I promise you, I swear I'm a girl and I did. I was listening to music before I was rapping. I'm telling you, they like the most simplest stuff. Lakia raps hard. It's bar after bar after bar. And it's a lot of stuff that'll go over your head. A lot of girls are not listening to that. And I promise you that. Like, I, 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 you should know. You, so, show, I, that's all I'm saying. So, 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 so that's what I'm saying. It's the image and it's the different styles. And what I'm saying is, Lakia is hard though. She's she like her, don't you? Yeah, she's hard. Lakia is hard. hard. She's, she's hard. super dope. I but, like people that spit, she that's talking on. about somebody. She slept on. Yeah. Is it that she can't pick her own beats? So what's going on with her? Mm, I don't when know. she puts like something out, what it do? Do it? It do numbers. Okay, well, but she she in a better place than me. I'd like to be signed to QCL. Let me get over there. Hell, I got three. I got about six bars for them niggas. You know what I'm talking about? Coach K, holla at me, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so no. So what um what do you think that uh it's gonna take for Journey to uh you know be recognized, truly recognized, and get her recognition in the industry? You know, damn all this. Let's talk about you. I don't give a damn about all that other Shit. stuff. Just keep, well, step, about, just keep stepping on next. Like I'm, I'm real. Like I say, I'm humble, and I'm so. There's content. nothing wrong with that. I'm so content with myself, though. How much y'all putting out over there? How many times? What else you them did this year? Hell, you know. Well, I want to know Man, what, what the work is to give. That. What the Listen. work is to give. Listen. The reason I had my first interview on Real Street Life was because of song. It was because of pressure. Went in, huh? It was spinning all around I heard, in I, Dallas. I listened to that earlier. Yeah, and it was without Lil Runny first. Okay. Then I made the decision to add Lil Runny because I thought that would be a good, you know, it made sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, And yeah. it did what it was supposed to do. No, so. Yeah, it's dope. You know what I'm saying? And it's then I did videos in between that. I did little freestyles. And then I just did a video with Big uh, Molly. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. So, you know, I mean, I've been working for a little, you know. For the time that you've been mm -hmm. getting down. For the time that, you know. Yeah, I'm working quicker than a lot of people. A lot of people, That's all yeah. I'm well, say. I, I mean, but it's it's being strategically done, of course. You know, yeah, it's got to make sense. Yeah, got to make sense. Go ahead, babe. You got some? No. Um. So even like, so you say you did basketball for a while, but you stopped. You you didn't finish school doing basketball. I just did them two years. Mm -mm. Just did the two years. Oh, junior college. Mm -hmm. So. You, when you were young and you started doing the basketball, did you ever want to be like in the WNBA and all of that? Did you think the basketball was going to take you? Because most people who play sports, yeah, of course, be thinking that, of course, okay, we, of course I had there. that dream. Of course, in the end, that was very possible. Like I could have finished so playing. You were that good? Yeah, I really was. Like, but I, it just no, was the school. You weren't no damn Cheryl Swoops. I, I wasn't. I yeah, was yeah, Journey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah, Big I Journey. Was you weren't no damn journey. Cheryl Swoops. Uh, what's journey. that other girl name? I ain't possibly Lisa, Cheryl. Lisa? Or Lisa Leslie. Yeah, they, Lisa they, they Leslie. They they Look, you can't even. Right. <laughs> Candace Parker, Scarlett Diggs, oh, all that. Oh, 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 don't oh, me. Yeah. Oh. I didn't met them. I didn't met them. So you and I have two. On, hey. On, Did you time. get some props? One time. You got some props though. I don't play basketball. Okay, then. I, I got props when I met. They probably though. said that nigga can talk. That nigga <laughs> talking nigga right there. <laughs> no, nah, but um. No, nah, it's good that you that that. I, did you do you think that that helped you to you know mentally prepare for things as you go forward? Far as when it comes to the music. Dealing with, you know, those situations that you face in basketball the, and the stuff. I think the biggest thing it helped with is the shit talking. Like, yeah, when yeah. you get to college, oh, yeah. that shit talking is bad. It's bad. It's bad. <laughs> the like, girls be talking crazy. Hey, I mean, I told, one, I told one girl that I'd pull her by her hair in the game if she wow. pushed me one more time because she was really playing a little bit too much for me. Yeah. And y'all already getting beat by thirty, B, so you doing a little bit too much. Yeah, I'm yeah, trying to yeah. get out the way. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you. But wait. they talk, so that's probably what the best thing. And then, and I that's was, when pressure came. Yeah, that's when it <laughs> yeah. I know you said that um, when you finished school, because you said you wanted to do psychology and you weren't able to do that in junior college. Mm -hmm. But I, I always go back to everything you go through in life helps you for where you're supposed to go. Mm -hmm. So looking back at your college years and the things that you did learn, 
Is there anything you took away from that to help you to where you are right now? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I was. This is how I knew college yeah, wasn't for me. Partying like hell down there. I wasn't day. though. Yeah, I wasn't you partying. Were sneaking in and out of dorms. I really wasn't though. I snuck in the dorm. Don't try to play That's me. That's fine though. But I, know I really what y'all wasn't did, though. Didn't know I was that. just lazy. Was anybody sleep, sneaking in the dorm? You knew somebody sneaking in the dorm. Y'all was all women, woman dorm or what? We couldn't even play like that though. I was there at was a, I was at a high like my junior college was D one Jew college though, junior okay. college though. Like it was the security was ter like you are oh, you are right. doing that. <laughs> like you had to have a key card and the girls and boy key oh, card and not work on the same. Right. Yeah, so but what it was for me is I was just lazy. Like I knew it went for me when it was like. I was not going to class. I just wasn't going. I had no desire. But like I was telling you earlier, mm. I was in classes that had nothing to do with what, what? I was trying to right. do. I was in classes. Like I. Just, but when you were in college, did you know you wanted to do psychology? Yes. When you were in college? Yes, that's why I picked that And you went to. back to your like a counselor and said, hey, I need to switch. Did you tell them? They went, you, my counselor was my coach. Out. Already. Let's so talk about the music, man. <laughs> Let's get to this music before this interview be over. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come on now. Let's talk about your song Pressure. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. When when Lil Ronnie did his verse, did you think it was good enough? Shout out Lil Ronnie. He'd been on the on the show before. For sure. He did what he was supposed to do. He did yeah, it exactly. I'm on the journey and I'm at the journey and yeah. I'm like, oh hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So how how was that? It was it was nice. It was a real good experience for me. You yeah. know, that was my first time working with somebody do you know this? Worked with a lot of people. Yeah, he's worked know? with a lot of people yeah, from so. Iggy Azil. He wrote for her, he, Mulatto. So you, that's mm -hmm. a good a good uh you know, portfolio to be honest, yeah. honest with. Who's yeah. the next person you would want to work with? It male or female? Right now, I ain't nobody. You don't want to work Why? with nobody. Somebody. Okay, let let me let me narrow it down. No, no. Somebody. Them. No. Okay, somebody who you know that is very realistic right now. You can get that person real easy, but you know that they go hard. You like, I could do an amazing song with them. And then I want somebody who you know that you got to wait, build your game up to get to that person. Okay, I could do the build your game up first because I the 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 other one I don't know, but the mm -hmm. build your game, Megan, Nicki Minaj, yeah, that's it. That's Nicki it. for sure, like she's your sure, number Nikki. one. Yeah, for okay. sure. But I like Megan too. I always talk about Megan. So, but that other one I don't know. I'm just right now I don't really want to do features with nobody. I'm I feel like I that pressure put me. In a good position to like, you right. know, like I got different people looking at me now. I got different, you know. So now, cause people ain't even heard. I'm such a versatile like artist. People ain't even heard. Y'all just heard that one particular song, and maybe other people have listened to my music, but not everybody. So when I drop this tape, like I want to see what that do. I want to do videos off that tape. I want to see where that take me. Like I'm getting a different fan base. It's real different. Like I. I got different things happening for me. I remember when I first started and I had to send my stuff out like mm -hmm. to different blogs and mm -hmm. send it out to different people just for them to go look at it. Like That's I don't even have to do that no more. I mm -hmm. wake up and I post something and, and the blog's already posting it for me. You know what I'm saying? So right. it's work. Now that I'm here, I want to take it. I want to do it, you know. Yeah. So yeah. what's your style? What would you consider your style to be? Cause you say that they only know this part of you. What would, but you know you, you know what you have. What would my, you consider your style? A journey. Already. A journey. Literally, like yeah, seriously, literally. I'm not even I'm not even playing like a journey because I'm it's so many songs that I sound different on. Like and when you think about a journey, a journey goes up and down, up and down, every way, anyway. Well, let yeah. me ask you this: Do you um um when you went you say features you don't really do, but the Big Molly deal when you went down there to uh, Miami? Miami. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what was um I mean, did you enjoy doing that? What was the process? How did that whole thing uh, end up happening? Um, so I, I hit her up okay. for that because I fuck with her, you know, Okay. as far as, and like they say, if you don't invest in yourself in this industry, you will go nowhere. So Already. that was a part of my investment, you know, into myself. Mm -hmm. And I picked her because I'm not going to, it has to make sense, but I also have to like it too. Yeah, like definitely. I'm not just about to pick somebody just because, oh, their name is this. Like if I don't like how you make music, I'm not about to make music with you. I'm just being honest. How did you, how did you find her? Just I've been following her for a little bit. Like I actually listened to her before I started making music. So okay, yeah, so I've been you know been but, listening to her. So is she? I mean, um, she been around for how long? How long she been rapping? Do you know? But when you first found her, I found her like a year before I started rapping. Okay, but so she been rapping for out. a little minute. That's what okay. she was telling me. Like a young. Is age. she signed or is she? She's co-signed with the babies people. Okay, so and that's I, good. 
And when you found her, did she ever did she hear about you at that time? Did she know exactly who you was? No, nah, not yet. But she followed me soon. As yeah, I, okay. you know. Yeah, it and happened like that. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you just kind of. You know, you reach out to people, or whatever, and then when they lock in and see what you're mm-hmm. doing, I see that. A and lot. she listened to all them songs. And when we first met, she was like, "Yeah, yeah, I, you know, I rock with them." Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because they're gonna go back, they're gonna go down that rabbit hole and find out who you are mm-hmm. before they do a song. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, how, okay. So, how did you, how did you end up uh, getting uh, Mama Scott to manage you? Oh, so <laughs> I was on a. I was actually in a group with Smitty. That's the crazy thing. Okay. We was on. We was in the same group. It was called mm-hmm. Pit down there in East Texas, and it was with this guy named Ken. Okay. Um, and he was basically supposed to be our manager, and it just that didn't work. Like it was just a mess. So Smitty left first. Okay. She actually left first, and so I was still there, and other people that was on the team too. And I just I was missing so much money. Like it was just too much. People was trying to get me to do. St- Features and he was supposed to be my manager and it just wasn't it wasn't working. So I had already talked to Mama Scott at one time and she was like, I'm not signing nobody, you know, right now. And she just really was just stuck on it. So yeah, no, I called again. I oh, called really? one That's more you, time. You gotta be persistent. Cause yeah, you gonna take me over there. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like it. And really, what it was is they had already. Uh, my team now They already had heard about me though So that's yeah. really what Got me inso- right. inside the door too Cause they was already Talking about me too So mm-hmm. That's really the only reason she, How if long it had you been time with them? It's not that long Not that long Not that long at all Cause I've only been doing it for a year yeah. And I signed like Not even halfway I don't think In between okay. it, You don't hear it so. okay. But thank God that you did Yes I mean, I think Most definitely It's a blessing I like what you guys are doing I like how y'all are moving I like the unity Facts. I think they're ha- I think it's respect and structure And people see that And I think that's something That people in the industry respect You know When I see all these guys Whether it be <clears throat> Any of Any of the guys That That really is serious about it Whether it be Trey Or whether it be T.I. Or, or Pow Wow Whoever They had a good structured team Behind them or, or you know, even even Lil Wayne. When I seen him, it's just the way that they move. It's it's a unit. You know what I'm saying? Right. And and that that makes the difference. So, um, when is your next project dropping? Uh, I'm shooting for the July the 23rd. So. That's on my birthday. Hey, really is yes, it? Oh, so you're a cancer? Leo. Leo. I Leo. Oh. Okay, you start. You do. I you start, actually do. I start. Okay. <laughs> I'm, mine was on the first of July. Okay, well, July people still, yeah, that's still, still July. That's still, still July, good. but you, you a Leo, though, you got. Mm. <laughs> she's like, you got. Mm. <laughs> One of my best friends, she and Leo, so she's the 22nd and I'm uh-huh. the 23rd. Oh, that's cute. And she was my roommate in college. Oh, yeah. So, um, when, um, I need my beat, man. Let me, let me get my stuff together here. Somebody else's beat, I can do an instrumental. Okay, oh. do, um, Big Yavo freestyle. Girl, Big Yavo. Big Yavo freestyle instrumental. See if I like it. Yeah, man. Hold up, hold up. We're going to bring that back. Hold on, I got to check make sure. Okay, let me hear that whole drop. Okay. You say okay? Check it, man. All right, let's get it. Check it, man. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Check it, man. Check it, man. We about to go Aye. on a journey, man. It's about to go down, man. Holla at your boy. It's Digital unique Digital think I'm going too fast. Eight of my plate, didn't care it was my last. All of that bullshit got left in the past, but it's still on my mind in case I double back. Okay. They want the old me, but the new me official. I took me some time. Now come get your issue. Find these demons, love blood on the tissue. I thought it was period, so I had to dish you. Ooh. I am the one. I am that bitch. This nothing new. I've been feeling like this. All of that talking, hoe, you can get hit. Keep thinking I'm weak and your ass gonna be sick. Not letting up till these bitches come catch me. It's not respected if she can't address me. Hey man, check it, man. Say, man, check it, man. She gonna what? She gonna address you? Ah, it's not respected if she can't address you. <laughs> Say, man. So, how does that make you feel when you do the music? You love it? You feel it? I like it. It's actually something that I, you know. Does it take I you somewhere like, else? It do. That's I thought so. Like, it do. It, it let take me you away from all release your troubles. My, mm-hmm. That's it, man. Release my inner self. A and there's some like, like, it is. And, and and like I said, you girls are talented, man. Like I love. That's that's what I do. I bring the girls. On. I let them free. I don't be messing with the dudes. That I much. know. I seen it. Yeah, yeah, like, he like to mess with the girls. No, because I I feel like they they kind of get overlooked. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I'm gonna do this different, and I'm gonna start with my lesson. Like Bodega rapped on mm-hmm. here, and uh, the piece rapped on here. The guys, yeah. a couple of them, but not 
Not like I do the girls. Yeah. So I always make them. I, I tell them, them like when they, they call me, I'm like, hey, you got to have me get ready, Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I, know, I know already that it, it motivates other girls when they see that. And, you know, and they know they could do it. Like, it's a lot of little girls that came. Remember, the, uh, it was a little girl came up here and she was like, E, <clears throat> help me to get into music. Because mm-hmm. they see all those pictures and stuff. They've been there for years. All right. It's like, I don't really want to deal with it. But I figured when I got an outlet, I would do something like this to give them motivation and show them that, you know, somebody who, who knows who's going to see what. It's and, the way, for yeah, sure. Yeah, like, like who knows who's going to see what. And the girls are popping right now. They for are. me, you know, I ain't going to lie. I like the way y'all they get eat. Oh, Everybody yeah, because of right you, Journey. You one of the main contributors. Hey, I'm just proud to be a part of you. I just um, want everybody to be. I wish we all could, you know, be on the same page with you. You know, I wish it wouldn't. Because I can't wake up in the morning and hate on nobody. Absolutely nobody. If I wake up and I'm hating, put me back to sleep. There's something Ooh. wrong. You know what I'm saying? That's like, bars right there. I'm so serious. But like, as you, if you wake up and worry about somebody right. else every day, like, you will never have time for yourself. But yeah. as I always say, if you feed negativity, that's going to roll over into your Most life. Definitely. And that's going to just not be a good combination. Yeah. So, Most definitely. So do you think that, um, you know, uh, you, you, you feel like within the next year you're going to get more strategic about how you doing things? Yeah. And you think you're going to get better and live Yeah, I actually more am now. Like, I am now starting to change my way I attack beats and different stuff like that. You know, I was doing, di- you know, when I was doing videos, I wasn't really taking it serious as my vid- videos. I was just thinking about being consistent. That's all it was about. But it's about the visual too, so I had to learn that. So I'm doing stuff different already, so I'm yeah. sure to get even more. When y'all did that first cypher, like I said, I seen you, I was like, man, I need her. But it wasn't about you was the best rapper. It's just mm. overall, as an artist, I, I look at the overall picture in my mind like I can make money with her. I didn't even know you was tall, actually. I should have picked up on that. <laughs> I didn't know you was tall until you walked that door. I was going down the majority yeah, I didn't, of the I video. Didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know. Because everybody's I, short. I don't like a lot of short people around me. <laughs> I didn't notice it. <laughs> and then I was like, man, you know, I was like, dang, she tall. But even when I seen it, it just you stuck out. It's, it's like she she could be the one. I appreciate that. you wearing that. heels, too? I do. I don't like it, though. You know what I'm saying? But I wear it, like... Uh, when I was shooting a video with Jeff, when we were shooting a little running mm-hmm. video, he was like, she need to take them heels off. She going to be tall and running. <laughs> everybody said, Jeff, I, it, I, so what I'm going to do if I go on the right. BET Awards and I'm taller and everybody's standing up there, I'm not taking my heels off. No. <laughs> Just let everybody see how short little running is. Already, man. <laughs> uh, you know, the thing is, you know, real, real recognize real. So I think he's, he probably seen the, the music in you like I did. Mm-hmm. And it was like, because he definitely had to look at the song and be like, yeah, I want to mm-hmm. get on that thing, yeah. you know. So and he, I'm pretty sure he knew the overall artist before he even made that move. He's real strategic about how he do things right. for his brand, and I like that in Lil Runny. And when he came on here, it's just a lot, real professional. He gave us some key pointers because we were just starting out in this. Right. He guess he showed us love. He came on here when nobody yeah. else did, and it's people like that you really can't just step around or mm-hmm. over. You got to always give them respect. Yes, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So for, sure. for him to even get on and you guys to work together, I'm proud to be able to admit both of you guys. You know. Thank you. Oh man, I go hard. I can go either way. It can go real professional. No, I can go real, real crazy. Yeah, I know. I can do it all. I you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm the same way. But I definitely love your energy. I love the way that you, uh, you know, the way that that that, that you come across. Mm-hmm. Um, it definitely uh, could see you going places as far as way far and beyond. You know, um, the thing I look at when I'm dealing with the artists is just the ROI. Like the big question is. You get the views. You you get the the acknowledgement. How do we how do we get our artists to gain you know cr- the creative control, the 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 monetarily the shows ain't where they are, used to be. Mm-hmm. We got to build that part back up. Mm-hmm. How do we get our artists in the positions where they pretty much is organic as they need to be and far as the monetarily thing and the things that they're putting the work in for they be you know pretty much compensated for it you know what i'm saying because mm-hmm. they deserve it yeah. you know and i think the music because of the way that they're pushing it out on platforms i think they're watering it down a lot of times because the, they don't have the same essence as it used to have you know right. what i mean and i think that hurts us a lot yeah i think a lot of it come because everybody can do music now every mm-hmm. nigga got a drum it's not machine about rapping no more. yeah 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 all these niggas this trash out there you gotta mm-hmm. filter through the trash to get to the good stuff yeah and it's just tough you know it is it is because you gotta have something really if you want to be honest you gotta have something special about you that draw right. attention like i tell people all the time i was the journey before i started rapping i mm-hmm. had a lot of followers this is facts in high school wow mm-hmm. i had ten thousand followers as a freshman like yeah, I awesome. say, so it was not nothing new to me. You know what I'm saying? What year was that? That was 
what I graduated in 2017 so yeah that's about when I did my my, my uh I had a rent about that mm -hmm. just because you got 10,000 followers don't mean you got 10,000 <laughs> I was pissed in here I was like followers don't equate to money nigga y'all ain't got uh, no money and I, I was in this store I'm telling you that was back you when can go back and look too. you can go back and look I said these niggas tricking niggas with all these niggas following niggas I said mm -hmm. really ain't no money in it nigga I got bread what's <laughs> up you know and, and that's the way I was going in. Yeah. I got a little upset because I seen a lot of fakeness. Girls that had a lot of followers thought they was all that and yeah. they didn't have no money. And I was like, it's confusing the algorithm of life. Yeah. And it becomes a fake deal. And, it, and, and right where we are today, people just pretty much projecting something. And a lot of it, niggas buying views and all. How do you feel about people buying views? It just, I don't know. I mean, if that's if that's what you want to do, I guess. I like, think it's, it's just I think like it's something to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As far as if it's in the right place. To I mean, do it. like th these folks don't do it right though. If you gonna do it, like make it make sense. Like, bro, you you got 500 followers and you got 500 thousand views on the video, nigga. Like, who are you? Like, who are you trying to fool? <laughs> Sound of it's like, I, what is you talking about? Like, <laughs> I seen them like that's that. what it be for me. What like, a Chinese make it make dude in the comments. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> talking about wow, it's a video talking about wow. Let me. Just be like, just be like, <laughs> <about. laughs> but it's crazy how these views be doing though. How these people be buying them? You could tell, yo. You could tell, you know. And then where are they gonna do their show at? Cause them Chinese people in the comments ain't gonna buy no show. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, if you if you buy views though, so like, is you DMing yourself too? You gotta be doing something. I don't know. I'm, I'm like, where are they I gonna do their show? Do you DM yourself too? It really is kind of like that's, that's the weird, retarded. but it's not really. When you look at life and you see people, you used to see them weird people that you really wouldn't you deal did. with. That's the same thing that's online. Same thing. It's like it's a world. Right. It's a social like said, media world. To air, to each their own. But you see, you have a lot of fake people on social media, and yes, we're outraged at how many people are doing all of that and how much of social media is fake. But when you look at people in real life, you could have a friend that you've been knowing for years, but they've really been showing you the fake themselves for the, all this time. You don't ever know. Right. So people, some people are fake in person, not just physically, but I'm talking internally. They're not really letting you know the real themselves. You right, know what I mean? so right. But see, the thing about them being in person, though, they in person. So yeah. whatever outcome need to come out of that, you can get that. If you got somebody that's thugging on the internet because they know that you can't find them, that's why they thugging on the internet, yeah, that's a whole nother different situation that you know. I respect somebody being fake to me in my face. Mm -hmm. I promise you that. And that might sound weird, but I would respect somebody more being fake to me in my face. You doing it in my face. She coming back to me, to somebody else talking about me, but she's in my face. Then somebody that's on the internet that I don't even know who it is. I'm, I'm trying to figure out who it is. And you trying to bully me off the internet. Girl, when, I, when I was young, I, I, I mean, it's, it's the same thing. You won't get it. it. But if you were me and you seen where I come from, that's that same person that do it on the internet. You used to call and hang up. Yeah, that is. It is. It is. Why they have to do your little call ID? That is that same person. It's, 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 it's like it's the same thing. But you had an idea who that was. Now days you don't know who it. Seriously, you that person that called you no know, call like, You can't tell me y'all didn't have an idea who that was. You had options of who that probably was. In your like, mind, in your mind, that's what I'm saying. Mind. But you and it, I mean nine nine times out of ten, I was usually right. I don't know about nobody else, but I was usually right. Like if you had just a whole bunch of people calling you, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you have some know. bad kids out there who would just dial a random number that you do not know from yeah, nowhere. Yeah, but them the same, yeah, 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 but but them the same, but them kids, the same that kids be, that be calling now on the duo yeah. and it be about 30 of them and your phone just ring. It's that. the same I'm people. Like, <laughs> you know I'm telling the truth. And they won't stop calling. They just keep pushing the button. Be a lot of kids pop up. I said, what the hell is this? But I know it's the same thing. Yeah, it is. It they is. Just it's in a different way. It is, but in a different way, though, because you might get a phone call that no call ID it wasn't all the time you know a threat or something it might be hey you know this is Spongebob do you want a crabby <laughs> patty it might be some shit like that I used to call if they, they, I no, call and ask yeah, your icebox I'm like is your icebox running yes and they be like uh, yeah uh, nah I'm like, you better go catch it yeah see how okay but see how sometimes it was fun see over this internet shit 
It ain't it It's not trying forward. to be no, fun like Niggas that. is trying to be funny They bully. trying to you know, yeah. Bully And everything yeah. else That's what I'm saying It's a difference I'm gonna you know shoot what your house up And all yeah, that Yeah I'm gonna shoot your house up And shoot your mama I'm gonna shoot your yeah. Who is you talking to Yeah And then you can't see them And then you can't see them I, I put a post out the other day I was like I miss school days Cause when you talk shit You had to see me The next yeah. day yeah. You had to see me See y'all We out of school and stuff And, and y'all ain't gotta see these folks If people get grown They ain't gotta see these people no more No They in their own home humble place and they can be whoever they want to be on the internet real life mm -hmm. real that, that that's real you know what i mean like these dudes they, they portraying images and you know at the end of the day we got to find a way to turn into our roi we want to make a return investment off some of this foolishness that's going okay. on we got to figure that part out and okay. we can equate all the foolishness to dollars we rich you know what i'm saying because exactly. there's a bunch of it out there right I mean, if it was making money every time somebody messaged you and said, I'm going to shoot your daddy, you know, I mean, it yeah, makes sense yeah, to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, every comment. time they say that, you know, you get $500 or some shit. Okay, shit. That's I see it. why you're doing this, sir. But when you <laughs> when it's not none of that, why are you doing this then? Right. You know, I think on a lot of different things. But some things, people man. just do it just because they're bored, really, honestly. Yeah, because bored. you have... It you miserable, make, though. It don't make no sense to me because... Sometimes people post, like, even, like, say, positive stuff. Mm -hmm. Then you have somebody in the comment just post something that's negative out the way just to pick on something in the picture and just to cause controversy cause other people to come in and start saying X, Y, Z, whatever yeah. just for no reason it's all for clout though like you got it, you, I had to remember that it's all okay so when you do that what they gonna do they gonna go look at that person that said that right mm -hmm. if they come in it's real live then we about to go look at who that was okay then it's funny you know so now <laughs> he about to get followers or she about to get followers and stuff. it's all that like, the people just want their own time and they shine and it's cool or whatever like you know, and sometimes people just jump on them too and start yeah. arguing. But people some people just, it's like a lot of hate. argument. Yeah, some people out there who just love to, to argue. argue. Yeah, and start mess. You got people like the gimmick. People like the you got all that. It's weird. The world they can't is come on boss talk. <laughs> that ain't what a boss is talk. Check it out, man. So top three artists of all time, Dead, Dead or Alive. You heard us the other day. Any we still genre, like that. Top female, three, number one. Male. I can say like can I, I don't say care. me? Yeah, hell yeah, yeah so it's on you. Your, I, okay, you think you the the best in the world ever to do it? Yeah. Oh, but, you said best in the world. <laughs> yeah, no, you can be the best. It's on you. you it's just what you love. What right, you so love listen, the listen. most? Okay, you ready? You yeah. ready? Number one. You ready? Yeah. You ready? Like a dog. That's D, what we used to say. You ready? Yeah. D. Who the hell is D? D. You ready? That's my first person. D. B. Okay. D. Beyonce. D. Oh, kind of the right. like with a T. Who the hell is that? D. I'm you gonna get it. Ready? That's that's the first person. D. Okay. Okay. Second person, Jern. Oh, okay. <laughs> Third <laughs> person is gonna me. Oh, yeah. Whatever, man. Yeah. You think I'm gonna put that out and be like, this is her top three. Why not? D, yeah. Jern, that's me. Okay. Top we need three individual people. Okay, three individual people though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Number one. Nicki Minaj. Oh, that's your girl. That's over, my girl. over Cardi? I, I like Cardi, but not over Nicki, though. Okay. I just yeah. want to put it I out like there. I like Cardi, though. I just want to put it out there. That's Nicki all. Minaj. Okay. Number two. I'm trying to see who I just listen to all the time. Tink. Tink? Yeah. It can be any genre. Yeah, that's that's she yeah. she sings R&B, so okay. Tink. Okay, Tink. Okay, number three. And then Key Glock. Key okay. Glock And mm -hmm. then go hard, he go hard. You Remember I used to listen yeah, to him Every day and She yeah. got so damn tired Of Key Glock And then stole the whole He got jungle. hard man yeah. <laughs> I like how he rapped No I do too I like how he rapped yeah. A lot of people be talking about him I like how he rapped No no, no I, I like him He chill I, don't no, know. I, like, I like the cadences And mm -hmm. the way them boys Over there do it anyway Young Dolph getting it in You know what I'm yeah. talking about So uh I ain't going to ask her If she could go back But um I'm going I'm going to Cause that's one of the questions That I had Okay it, Um Going back in your life and um, at four when that happened, if you had to talk to your mom and tell her what was going on and stuff like that, because and the the symptoms or the signals that she could have looked for, because you have some moms out there who kids are going through. Well, something. my mom knew out the rip because I told her that's how oh, smart I was. Oh, awesome! I told her the day that it happened. So they should tell somebody. Wow. But not, but but um, not all kids are like that. I, I just I, I just felt like some. I didn't even know that something was wrong. I was just innocently like telling her what happened today. Like you know, da 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 da. da he you know whatever. Because this happened to be <clears throat> at the time my mom was married to a man, so this okay. was like a step. When so I don't call him okay. nothing like that, but that's what he was at that time. So, so when you when when you told her, what did she say? She immediately handled it. I I, I was gone. Like I, she 
put me in the car and I don't know okay, <laughs> after cool, that. Cool. Which is good because you have some parents. Yeah, you have some, some parents. You have some. Like, I, I, I actually had a friend later on in life that I had to deal with, you know, as a friend and beat her for her. She was getting something happened to her and her mom wouldn't believe she her wouldn't believe her like right. she, so she didn't want to leave her boyfriend she was like you lying like she called her bees and all types so, of stuff like so you would just tell her to speak up and say something i, I what would you it's, it's really hard to, to tell her what to do because i wasn't in that you did it that okay. you know what i'm saying i told my mom listened to me so in that predicament i couldn't really just tell her you know i, I told her never eat quiet i'm always here and there is always somebody else that can help you, you know Already. and my main thing was because i had to get counseling from the school so Already. that's what i told her to do was to go talk to the people at school if your parents aren't listening you know what i'm saying but, but yeah. it's 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 a it's a hard situation because think about it if you go tell your parents at school i mean go p tell the people at school and they like okay so you're not listening to your daughter she's saying this happening to her so now they're gonna CPS. take her you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying she don't want to leave a family what could you tell a mom um to look for man and children the main thing is getting quiet they're not gonna want to come out the room that much they're in the room a lot you know, but in today's society where kids are stay in the room and play games regardless and anyway, that's the bad, so. bad thing you need to check on your child at all times one thing about my mama is one thing I can say we have a different type of relationship like I can tell her absolutely anything and that's because of her being so well bonded with me she's always you know mm -hmm. coming in there and journey you know so to check on your child's mental even as a kid because as a kid, I think a lot of parents don't think that their mental is that big, but it's actually really the biggest as a kid. That leaves the most trauma as a kid. When things happen as a kid, you have the most trauma as a kid. It's so funny because I can't remember three, four, five. I, I can't remember any of those ages. I didn't like what happened. Mm -hmm. I remember certain instances that happened, but I can't remember how old I was. I mm -hmm. remember falling off of a wall, mm -hmm. had to go to the nurse's office, but I was in um, prep school. I don't remember how old I was. Right. But see, when it's something like that's real, real, you know, mm -hmm. tough like that. And then if you go to counseling, like I said, and I was reminded over time. and over and over and over again. I'm remembering the age. Right. Like I could t I'm sitting here like it's yesterday. I can remember the whole thing. You know? Already. <clears throat> so I tell you, man, how can Thank people get a hold of you? Thank you for telling your story, though. Thank you. you. Yeah. How can people get a hold of you? Hey, y'all can get me on Instagram at D T H E E dot journey j-o-u-r-n-e-y and another y at the end that's really it i got a facebook it's the same thing okay and um we we definitely love what you TikTok? do tiktok tiktok nah i had one but i got a new phone it deleted i don't remember the password so i i'm on tiktok to watch the videos but no, i don't you just need to be on them. there and put your stuff back you're right you're, you're right, right. I'm, I'm not gonna argue right with now. you you're right you're right it's <laughs> <'Cause, laughs> all right i'm not gonna argue with you with you're right i ain't even gonna tell you so that you're gonna wrong. do it i'm gonna do it because you're right man. say check it man <laughs> say man we love you and we appreciate you for coming thank on you the for show, having me and and anytime you about to drop a new project or anything that you want to push out to the masses man you're welcome to come on boss talk 101 check it man it's I been another, another great segment of Boss Talk 101. 101. Here we out.